let me first tell you that uh, this meeting is a great opportunity for me and for the other country I, uh, what I have seen from different perspective and I will tell you the impact of this on our planning for data gathering and data collection. The first is this meeting is important for learning, for seeing where we are, and for planning for the future. And really, the statistic and the measurement is very important in sector like the ICT sector, which is very dynamic. From day to day, you, you've seen um, new things, new technologies, a new theme, a new development that you have to follow in order to boost this ICT sector. We really did a great job in our country by following the standards set by the international organization, especially by the ITU and other international organizations. And this has helped us a lot to, uh, uh, to see where we stay and to compare ourselves with the other countries in the same uh, 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 GDP or the same population or the same situ economic situation at large. But the, also the important things I had today and I, I, I shared it with all the other countries is it's very important now when you talk about statistics in specific theme or area, you should look to the nature of the country. For a country like Egypt, for example, uh, for the issue of the gender, the north of the country is different from the south of the country. Yes, we succeeded as sector to disseminate and penetrate at a great percentage the ICT usage all over the country in different sectors, uh, through the community center that we build. And the usage of this is really is very high and it's important and it's positive result. But when we talk about ICT for women, how ICT can empower women, how ICT can help make the life of women easy. How can women learn using the ICT in order to increase their knowledge, knowledge for, their, for her kids, knowledge uh, for her health uh, situation and health care? This is very important. But in order to do this, we have to take care because if we do it all over the country and we, based on that, we have a policy for all the country, this may not succeed for the south area of the country. Why? Because there are different cultures. We need, but we need also to help them. We need to tailor it for them. We need to show cases for them how the ICT can impact the woman positively, can impact the girl, can boost her, can give her many, many opportunities for her life and for her success and development. This is important in our case, for example, in Egypt, we already started to collect the data by gender. This, it was very important and it was very exciting. For example, when we look to uh, uh, the university and the faculties of computer science and we found that the female <coughs> percentage are bigger than the male, this is, was exciting for us. But on the other side, for example, the female or the woman working in the ICT sector, we found that there is no balance. The, main, the men still dominate the many jobs in the ICT sector. And <clears throat> based on some statistics like this, what I really looked for, and I'm preparing now for our country and for the minister to be launched, is a specific initiative for ICT for women and girls in Egypt, which really we want to benefit those people. We want those people uh, uh, maximize the usage of the ICT for their own benefit and with a, with a tool and with um, customized uh, which can help uh, the woman in every governorate in the south and in the north. We have to show them role model and this role model should be it's different in the south from the north. So for this reason I discussed this today and this is my intention to launch this a project and initiative very soon when I return back to Cairo. The future plan, we have a very aggressive and very optimistic plan for the next four years. I just mentioned yesterday in the high level uh, panel in the morning, uh, really we, uh, we planned to 
deploy the ICT in every social and economic sector in our country. We already uh, uh, specify the problem of our country and based on this, we have our vision and we have our program and we have our projects. So we aimed by this project, by their implementation, which will be done in cooperation with the private sector, with the related parties, I mean the related ministries, and the, uh, as well as the NGOs, the, the non-governmental organization, in order to solve our problem. One of the problem is to reduce the poverty in our country. The other problem is to increase the job opportunity to help to reduce the unemployment rate. One of the problem is the illiteracy rate. So all the program are taken into consideration to solve this. And this is, this is part of the problem of the millennium that already the international organization set. So for the first time, this strategy, this new strategy of the ministry and of the government, take this into consideration. And the other things, this strategy was integrated in the national development strategy of the country. So this is, this is the successful way that we already make it this time by this way.